Speeding may be to blame for this fatal crash in Coquitlam. The Tesla engulfed in flames after it struck a traffic pole, killing the driver. It happened just after 1 a.m. on Lougheed Highway and Alderson Avenue. And because it was an electric car, police will proceed with caution. They do respond differently from a gasoline fire. Uh, it has the ability to reignite as a, as a battery fire. A driver is dead after losing control of his car and crashing into a tree in Davie. In the United States, the National Transportation Safety Board has ongoing investigations into fatal Tesla crashes. Last year, two Florida teens were killed when their vehicle crashed and caught on fire. Last month in Florida, a battery reignited after the burned out car was towed. Tesla's own guide says battery fires can take up to 24 hours to extinguish and there's a risk of reignition. The crews are, are aware that when they're dealing with a vehicle like that, that they need to be mindful of where those electric lines are running and uh, where the batteries are located and if there's a master shutoff that they can access. So the orange there is the... Um, the high voltage cables and the National Fire Protection Association's website shows emergency response guides of several alternative fuel vehicles that firefighters can access. An important tool, especially when the driver has to be extricated and new technology emerges. There's fuels and then the safety systems as well, the airbags and the seatbelt pretensioners, all of these these changes to vehicles affect how we approach them and how we deal with them. As for the early morning fire, Coquitlam police are looking for dash cam video and they're asking for witnesses who saw the black Tesla Model X to come forward. Grace Key, Global News.